How does a lightning storm occur? A lightning storm occurs when there is an accumulation of electrical charges in the atmosphere, typically within a cumulonimbus cloud. These charges are generated by the movement of ice particles and water droplets within the cloud, as well as the interaction between the cloud and the ground. The process begins with the formation of a cumulonimbus cloud, which is a type of towering cloud associated with thunderstorms. These clouds are characterized by strong updrafts of warm, moist air, as well as downdrafts of cool air. As the warm air rises, it cools and condenses, forming water droplets and ice particles. Within the cloud, the ice particles and water droplets collide, creating positive and negative charges. The lighter ice particles become positively charged, while the heavier water droplets become negatively charged. The positive charges are carried to the upper part of the cloud, while the negative charges accumulate in the lower part. As the charge separation continues, the difference in electric potential between the cloud and the ground increases. This creates an electric field, with the positive charges at the top of the cloud and the negative charges at the bottom. When the electric field becomes strong enough, it can overcome the insulating properties of the air and create a conductive path, known as a stepped leader, towards the ground. The stepped leader typically consists of a series of rapid, step-like movements that extend downward in a zigzag pattern, searching for the path of least resistance. Simultaneously, a stream of positive charges, called a positive leader, also begins to extend upwards from the ground. The positive leader is not as visible as the stepped leader, but it plays a crucial role in completing the lightning discharge. When the stepped leader and positive leader connect, a complete conductive path is established between the cloud and the ground. This leads to the rapid flow of electrons from the cloud to the ground, resulting in a visible flash of lightning. The rapid movement of electrons creates intense heat which causes the surrounding air to expand rapidly. This rapid expansion generates shock waves, resulting in the sound we hear as thunder. The entire process of lightning discharge happens very quickly, typically within a fraction of a second. It is important to note that lightning can also occur within the cloud itself, between different parts of the cloud, or between multiple clouds. Overall, a lightning storm is a complex phenomenon that involves the accumulation and discharge of electrical charges in the atmosphere, driven by the movement of particles and the interaction between the cloud and the ground. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.